I knew someday you would come. Each woman pictures her night. Some dream of Brad Pitt or Jorge Clooney. But guess what? Brad Pitt is married and Jorge Clooney is on the set all the time. Pero Breck, you were always accessible by phone or fax. Hey, don't take your anger about what happened to Breck out on us. Go to hell, Cliff. You were not like Breck. You were not a true receptionist. You never had the passion, the fire in the belly, the buns in the oven. No like Breck. Yes. All right. I love him. I love him the first. I saw him at his desk, and I love him. My love was everywhere. It's built over everything. Oh, really? Well, did you mop it up? Shut up, Griff. Oh! oh! Jess, I knew it would not be easy. You said your name was Scott. Do you want me to write it down? No, I heard you. It's just hard to... You mean you are the real God? Yes. Ralph, who's this? <laughs> Says he's God. Wow. Someone's got a healthy ego, and you just let him in? Look, would it have been more proper to leave God waiting in the hall? Are you crazy? This man's not God. He's running docksiders. Ma'am, I assure you, I am the Lord. Ha, got any proof? <sighs> Hold on. Ah, uh, here I... No, just Lynn. Pal, you're nuts. Now get out of her house. Tim, I assure you, I am the Lord, and I've come here on very important business. I've proven I'm the... After all, I did dive in my wallet for my ID. Now, he's right, honey. He did dive for it. I was standing right there. the website, he seems to have convinced himself that he was one of the children of this ghetto. And what happened to the children? The Red Cross toured to Rizienstadt for six hours. After that, the Nazis abandoned everything, the parks, the barracks, and all the inhabitants of the ghetto, including the children, were sent to Auschwitz to be gassed. Gassed? But Ronald is safe here. But in his mind, he doesn't know that he's safe. He's convinced that the events will happen just as they have been documented on that website. As a result of his belief, his body may indeed undergo the effects of carbon monoxide poisoning. So he'll choke himself to death? I hope not, but I really don't know. I've never seen a case this severe. Look, Lebowski, I blame you for this. Ronald had no business- I'd like to speak with your manager. The situation is getting pretty tense here. And all I'm doing is picking my nose. The problem is, the situation doesn't call for nose picking. It calls for direct police action. This is just like the time I froze in the donut shop. And the perpetrator walked in and got away with two dozen glazed. Two dozen glazed! Those people had no donuts that day. Their suffering must have been inconceivable. Oh, you'd like Does to Does anybody speak really to own anything? Or are we mere custodians over that which is? I guess colloquially speaking, I am robbing you. But this is no cause for alarm, all right? Just everyone settle down, just relax. No worries. I worries, I worries. You know, listening to you guys yelling at each other in here brought me back to the days of my parents bickering. They used to argue about everything, from what to watch on TV, to how much it smelled like fish in the den. I guess that's why I had to shoot them. Oh my God, you shot your family? Yeah, stone dead. My dad took longer to die than my mom. I was so like him. Lazy even at death. But anyway, thinking back on it, maybe shooting out their spleens wasn't the best way to go. Oh yeah, you guys are probably say we all should have been on the therapist's couch, right? Feeling each other's feelings and other such sniveling. But those shrinks cost an arm and a leg. My way was much cheaper. You got that right, my brother. From the way you just made love, I would have assumed you'd be much more successful in business. <laughs> One trick pony, I guess. Oh. You know, I, I think our culture is way too obsessed with 
production. What we produce, how much we produce, how much it costs to produce. Hey, whoever said as humans that we have a duty to be productive? Well, so we should all be lazy? Well, some of us are good at work avoidance. Should they be punished? Stigmatized? I mean, they have talent. Look, man, I'm really sorry that I was reluctant to tell you what I did before. And now you're ready to spill it? All right. Are you ready? Are you braced? I think so. All right, here it is. I work at the post office. My name is Sam Twitchell. Yeah, you tell them Twitchy baby. I was born into this world with something unique. It's my face. Every now and then, without my consent or control, my facial muscles undergo a series of tremorous spasms, or as some may call them, twitches. As a youth, I was picked on. As a man shunned by men and women alike, who think of me a monster. No, we love you, Twitchy. <clears throat> but despite everything, I have always excelled in the workplace. My coworkers have looked beyond my nervous twitch to the solid core, which is the man beneath. Look closely and you'll find me a trustworthy worker and loyal friend. Steady in mind and heart, a steady ship on this wild and vast ocean of business. And so, ladies and gentlemen, whatever your doubts, whatever your fears, know that even though I suffer from twitches, in the world of business, I am rock steady. Think about it. Okay, during the Second World War, everyone knew who the enemies were. The Nazis led marches, wore uniforms. Hitler had that obvious mustache. But today, the terrorists march in secret. They blend into our communities and without warning, bomb our buildings. We don't know who they are or where they'll strike. All things considered, I think David feels it's easier to fight a gun. Some kind of sick joke? No! One kid pisses blue and that's it, I'm the laughing stock of the world. Did I ask the kid to drink that stuff? Did I sit him down, pour him a glass of shampoo and force it down his throat? Publicly disgraced! Discredited! Remember it as if it was yesterday. Well, Brel, I hear your shampoo is toxic when swallowed. Some sort of a urination accident, wasn't it? Who in the blazes are you? Meet your competition. I am Sally Sudzo, maker of Suds for Strands Shampoo! That is a tough break for you, Brel. But not to worry. We'll pick up the slack for you. Right, girl? That's right. And you should know, Miss Sudso Shampoo has just been approved safe to clean fluorides by the Board of Health and Mental Hygiene. Yeah? Well, that and a stick of gum will buy me half a pound of crap cake. You know, it was just one year ago that I was thinking about joining up with you. How ironic would that have been now with my star on the rise in your business? Excuse the pun. All washed up. Better like next time, girl. Here. Try one of our new trial-size shampoos. Don't worry. Dumb house.